Greetings everyone, I am Jim Castellan. Together with me is Ray Basso. Today, we will be discussing about our business, the BC Sports Clothing. Our business focuses on athletes with their needs for playing the sport they play. We sell clothes, sports equipment, and sports balls. The clothes are well made and are designed for sports. The sports equipment are in good quality so that the buyers will be able to avoid injury. And the balls, they are also in good quality so that it will last longer. How we plan to run our business. Since our business is a startup business, we are to persuade people into buying our products. We will have to advertise to them that we are an authentic and affordable shop. We are also to make sure that the business is important, knowing that, the bu that businesses fail 90% of the time, and most especially if they are to tap into a smaller market. Our 5-10 to 10 year plan of the business So, the busy sports clothing plans to continue the business and the service the athletes need to ensure their safety and needs for playing their sport. Knowing that, we are to keep up with the modern times and this will surely help us in building our business. In our time frame, our first 1-2 years will be to gather loyal customers and open advertising. Our year 3-6 to, to six will be to try to open up to investors and franchising. And our 7-10th to tenth year will to make the business stay afloat. So our return of investment is to be discussed along with our profit sharing. Profit sharing is a, is a type of plan that gives employers flexibility in designing key features. We intend to retain 60% of our profit so that we will be able to restock our business, to restock our products with our partners. The employees, which will be the owners of the business, me and Dre Basso, will each have 15% of the profit. The remaining 10% will be for the payment in electricity. In profit sharing, the first step is to divide each employee's individual compensation for the period by the total compensation for the whole period. Then multiply your profit share percentage by your profits for the period. And finally, multiply the two totals together to determine each employee's payment amount. So this, computation. This is our budget, 55,000 pesos. After computing all the prices of our stocks, the overall costs from buying from our business partner is around 51,300 pesos. The total selling price will amount to 103,800 pesos and our profit is 52,500. For discussing the macro, for, the, for discussing our macro, Excel macro, so here we have the summary of BC Sports Clothing. As you can see, we have a total stock of 107 items, a budget of 55,000 pesos, overall cost is 51,300 pesos, and the leftover budget is 307 pesos. For our selling price total, it is 103,800 pesos, and our profit is 52,500. Uh, the overall profit is 56200 because we added the leftover budget. Now we can go to our inventory. So here we can see the items that we are currently selling in our business. The stocks that are available. The price. So here is the original price that we paid for the product. And here we are selling a different price in order to gain profit. Here is the total selling price for each item. Now we can see the total stock which is 107 and here we can see the overall cost which is 51,300 pesos and here we can see the total selling price which is 103,800 and here is the profit 
which is 52,500 pesos. Finally, we thank you for listening to our presentation. That is all. Thank you.